Argentina is currently grappling with a severe rise in poverty, with new statistics revealing that more than half of its 46 million inhabitants are now living below the poverty line. According to the Index Statistics Agency, the poverty rate surged to 52.9% in the first half of 2024, up from 41.7% in the latter half of 2023. This alarming trend is occurring against a backdrop of drastic economic measures introduced by right-wing president Javier Millet. Since taking office in December, Millet has implemented stringent policies aimed at curbing inflation and reducing government expenditure. His measures include cutting subsidies on transport, fuel and energy, and laying off thousands of civil servants. Argentina's annual inflation rate, one of the highest globally, currently exceeds 230% exacerbating the monetary struggles of its citizens. Despite the surging poverty rates, Miley's administration has achieved some fiscal successes, recording monthly fiscal surpluses since February, contrasting with the significant budget deficits from previous years. At a recent news conference, government spokesperson Manuel Adorni attributed the worsening poverty levels to the previous left-leaning Peronist governments. He described the current economic challenges as a legacy of years of poor governance, labeling it potentially one of the worst inheritances in democratic history. The issue of poverty had been increasing even before Millet's tenure. In 2017, only about a quarter of the population was considered impoverished. Upon his inauguration, Millet promised a series of economic reforms, including a 50% devaluation of the peso and having the number of government ministries. However, Millet's aggressive policies have faced substantial opposition. Trade unions have organized protests against the implications of these reforms on workers' rights, challenging the president's approach to economic recovery. Moreover, Millet's coalition, La Libertad Avanza, Freedom Advances, lacks a majority in Congress, complicating his ability to garner cross-party support for his policy plans. Critics argue that these austerity measures have worsened living conditions for many Argentines with Peronist lawmakers like Victoria Tolosa Paz vocalizing concerns over their impact on working families. Despite these challenges, Millet's government retains a level of relative popularity among the Argentine populace, though his approval rating has dipped from 40% to 53% in recent months. His administration's focus on reducing government overspending has shown some positive outcomes, but the stark rise in poverty remains a critical issue. As Argentina navigates these turbulent times, the balance between fiscal responsibility and social welfare will continue to be a focal point of the nation's economic discourse.